How much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? Let's find out. Today's animal is the groundhog. The groundhog is also known as the woodchuck. It is a rodent and belongs to the family of ground squirrels. Groundhogs can be found throughout most places. They range all the way up from eastern North America all the way up into Canada. They're very easy to tell from other types of animals. They got a brown undercoat and they have whitish to tan hairs over their body that act as guard hairs to give them that distinct color. They have sharp claws that help them for digging. As you all know, groundhogs are very big diggers. They will like to dig homes underground and they'll often dig under people's homes, causing much structural damage. Groundhog's weight changes depending on pond season. They can be anywhere from five to 12 pounds. They will appear and feel heavier than they actually are. The preferred habitat of the groundhog is open grasslands on the edges of wooded areas. They would prefer to build their dens there than anywhere else. The woodchuck can live up to six years in the wild, two to three years being the average. In captivity, they can live up to twice that long, anywhere from 12 to 14 years. The groundhog is a herbivore. They will eat a whole bunch of different grasses and plants, but they have also been observed eating nuts and insects as well. When alerting others to danger, groundhogs will make a high whistling noise to alert that danger or predators are nearby. That is where they get the name whistle pig. People, dogs, coyotes, and foxes are about the only predators that can take on an adult groundhog, while hawks and owls will tend to prey on smaller groundhogs. People do eat groundhogs, I have no idea how they taste. I hear they have darker meat, but I don't really know of many people that actively eat groundhog. To escape any predators that may be trying to eat them, they will either run down their burrows or they can also climb trees. From around 1964 to 1971, thousands of groundhogs were taken every year from the state of Kentucky, used at, for fur, food, and other types of things. They used to be big game animals. They were a protected species in Wisconsin up until 2017, and the numbers are decreasing in Illinois. As I mentioned earlier, groundhogs will dig burrows, and that's what they used to live in. During the winter, the groundhog is one of the few true animals that will actually hibernate through the winter. They will often build a separate den near a brush pile or some kind of structure that they will hibernate all throughout winter. Breeding season for the groundhog starts right after the hibernation in March, where a male and female will stay in the same den for the 20 to 32 day gestation period and after the young are born the male will leave. The female groundhog will give birth to two to six hairless blind baby groundhogs. During hibernation the groundhog's body temperature will go down from 99 degrees to a low 37 degrees Fahrenheit. The burrows that a groundhog would dig can be very extensive. They will usually have two entrances 
and can be as long as 20 feet. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, go check out the video I made on the gray fox, which I will leave in a link at the top of the screen. I hope you guys enjoyed this animal. It's a very uh, fun animal to video, and I will see you all later.